feeling a spring cleaning slash grooming day on. We got some snow this week, but now it's like 50 out. It's not quite sunny, but it feels pretty warm. <laughs> I'm feeling motivated. <laughs> so we are gonna have a fun vlog today. At least I hope so. Um, I'm gonna try to like get a lot done. So let's get to it and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. You may be able to tell that I already started cleaning. I wiped down my hay gain this morning. I was uh, just getting right in the groove today. Also, today is Dobby's birthday, so we're gonna make sure that we celebrate that old man. Z's birthday is next week. Uh, I have two March birthday thoroughbreds. And um, he's been doing a little bit better. Uh, the vet's coming back actually on his birthday to do some injections and then hopefully he'll be good to go. Uh, I've been giving him his meds orally and I started him on some a magnesium supplement that hopefully will help with some of the skin sensitivity. And uh, <laughs> hopefully he'll be uh, ready to go and back to normal in a couple of weeks. He's, uh, he's a tough cookie to crack. You know, I got a little caught up in feeling frustrated, uh, you know, that it always feels like something with him. But we have had, uh, we're coming up on almost a year and we have had a really good, really, really good year together. And I think we've grown a lot and made, I've made good progress with them. So I can't be too frustrated. Horses are horses and that's this uh, life that we feel like we can't all um, just have it easy, so. It is what it is, and uh, yeah. I'm just getting him set so he can go chill in his stall and hopefully take a nap. Are you tired? Poor Dakota has been at the barn with me for like almost two weeks now because her dad has been away traveling. And I think it's safe to say barn life is pretty exhausting for her. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the ponies in for breakfast and take the farm garbage out and then I can kind of jump into the spring cleaning and chores and things I want to tackle today. I'm hoping to start um, cleaning up Rexy. He's a little feral looking. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll kind of jump in after I get things moving. Okay, I feel like the day's already getting crazy. Um, two of the two things that I really want to accomplish today is I'd like to scrub Rex's legs and try to start clipping them. And then I also really wanted to clean this messy grain room. I try to clean off the counter once a week and like reset. So hopefully we can get to that today as well. Let's start with Rexy though. I also want to show you guys when I start like spring cleaning, um, dusting and decobwebbing the place and like scrubbing the walls and whatnot. Um, but we're not going to work on that today, but that's definitely coming up soon. Um, a lot of people's first comment to me is, oh, your barn is so pretty. <laughs> and um, I appreciate that. But that being said, we do a lot of cleaning around here to keep it this nice and clean. So I wanna make sure, why does this always look so crooked? It's probably me. Anyway, so I wanna make sure that I always explain all of the thorough, like actual cleaning that we do around here because we do a lot of dusting and uh, wood cleaning, things like that to maintain this beautiful look. 
that we have going on. So for Mr. Rexy, I'm gonna scrub his legs. Um, he is due for a clip and it's supposed to be pretty nice this next week. Um, but I always like with him lately to start with the legs. Obviously it's, we're having a muddy winter so his legs are super muddy. And I like to start with his legs because they're kind of a pain and extra fuzzy this time of year. So. Getting Rexy groomed and cleaned up is always high up on my spring cleaning list as he gets really fuzzy and I kind of let him be feral in January, February months, and then when March comes around, it's time to not be feral again. Um, so, my goal today is to get these white legs scrubbed and clipped down. Hopefully I won't run out of time since we are all learning. If you are a regular watcher that my Time management is somewhat poor around here. It's definitely one of my skills that I could work on. I get to talking and scheming and um, it's not because I'm not a hard worker. I just get distracted. Like I said, my undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> I'm gonna let this dawn sit for like two minutes. Um, that's good if there's any fungus brewing, and then we'll rinse these. I'm gonna towel dry them a little bit and then let him dry so that hopefully I can get that done. While that's going on, I'm gonna try to tidy up this grain room situation. You know, during the week, everything kind of gets thrown around. So it's a good time to kind of tidy up. Also, if you can see, you look on the counter. I'm notorious for opening supplements and then not closing them and putting them away, which is kind of why stuff is just like um, everywhere. I um, struggle with that a little bit, but closing them during the week seems silly. I started Z on this staple feed chia supplement. There was a five-star event rider, Ashlyn Michael, whose horse dealt with some like severe ulcers and she swears by this stuff, so I'm trying it out. So far, I mean, I think good things. I haven't had him on it long enough to feel like I notice a real change. However, I did notice someone give a review and say that this supplement stopped their horse from cribbing. And while Z has not stopped cribbing, he has been cribbing significantly less, so Fingers crossed, I will keep him on it for that reason if it works. Um, I, it's winter time, so there's been lots of aquaphor on my hands. Thankfully it's not like super duper dirty. This is what I like to call organized chaos. <laughs> Obviously, I need to wipe it down, but quick tidy up, carrots, water. I'm gonna give the counter a quick wipe down and then we'll go back to Rexy. Okay, unrelated, pause. Let's talk about why there's carrots on the counter, not just for treats. I've been taking this pin cap and carving out a little hole in the carrot. and sticking Norman's Prescend in it to get him to eat it. So if you have horses that are fussy about medicine, this is my little handy dandy trick. I try to mix up some like cleaning solution on days like today and use just a rag and walk around with the bucket all day. I 
apologize if it seems like I'm vlogging at warp speed today, but I'm trying to get a lot done and I'm failing. <laughs> drying I quickly towel dry but he can air dry a little bit while I pamper the birthday boy uh, he deserves some love from his mom today so I'm gonna get Duffy out and give him some love the birthday boy has given himself the perfect mud uh, grain mash facial today I don't know if you guys can see but he has mud everywhere grain everywhere <laughs> He's pampering himself. Are you pampering yourself? Oh. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? He says I'm 21 today, but I don't look it. For any of you guys that don't experience a lot of ticks, this is what they look like. <laughs> Ew. So the best way to get ticks and make sure you get the whole head where it bit um, off is to use a pair of tweezers. And then I just move the hair aside to where I can really see it. Just rinsing his legs and then unfortunately I think birthday pampering time is over and I have to get back to work. Okay, it's Saturday now. <laughs> As usual, things got away from me and I got a little bit behind on my spring cleaning. So the last thing I wanted to do on this vlog, uh, cleaning wise, is clean up this mess that is behind the camera. Dun, dun, dun. So my grooming tools and all of this tends to get dirty and disorganized just because other people use it during the week. So. I'm gonna kind of tidy this area up today and uh, clean everything up and figure out what needs to be washed and kept. So the first thing I do is soak any brushes that need to get washed in some hot water with Dawn dish soap. don't tend to um, put in the wash bucket is like hook picks. They don't really need to be washed. Everything else touches uh, horse skin with fungus or dirt so that everything else can get washed. And sanitized. So 
this little basket is great. Granted, some horses have leaned on it, but that way things can kind of air dry if they get put in there wet. And what I typically do to clean this is just brush it with a broom, get all of the horse hair out from the bottom. Then I can take a rag with some of that Murphy's oil soap I talked about and just wipe everything down. Because the, the hair and the dirt, if you own horses, you know about just the like grimy dirt that collects up anywhere they go <laughs> in your grooming bag and everything. So. I can kind of just wipe this down like so. And the Murphy's oil I add in so that I can just wipe the walls and everything along with it. In the springtime, I scrub the walls in general, but I'm going to do that with help one day. Then I will take everything off of here. And some of this is garbage that just piled up and doesn't need to be here. Not all of it, but some of it. So it's kind of just a good opportunity to like clean everything out. Also, I never know what to do with old, like gross clipper blades. I know a lot of people will send like bags of them off to get cleaned, but I've never done this before. So I just hoard them, gross. Then once I've cleaned all the stuff off of this shelf, I can wipe all of this area down. Again, I start with the wall behind it. It's nice once a month to refresh all of your space and organization. So a lot of this stuff just gets used every day. It gets really dirty. It's good just to kind of reset your space nice and clean and clear out the stuff you don't need when we come into the springtime. So then I can kind of, now that I've cleaned my space off, I can put things back that belong there. I can put back the things that don't belong there and there are other places. I'm gonna let all of these brushes soak, but what I do when they're done soaking, cause this Dawn water kind of sanitizes them, make sure to pull out any hair, scrub them along the rubber mat, make sure they look nice and clean. And then I will rinse them out, get all of the soapy water out. And it's a nice sunny day today, so then I can just shake the water out and go put them out in the sun to dry. So I'm gonna let them soak a little bit though. And I have to get back to getting horses worked today. So that probably wraps up this first of kind of my series of like catching up, organizing and spring cleaning stuff. I have a lot to get done the next couple of weeks. So I feel like we'll be heavy on the vlogging. <laughs> so stay tuned and uh, thanks for sticking it out with me and uh, doing some fun cleaning and catching up. I'll see you guys next time. If there's anything specific that you wanna see uh, spring cleaning wise, or you have any questions, uh, please make sure to comment. I love when you guys chat with me. I see this all the time, but it's so great. It makes me um, so happy to have feedback. And if you enjoy the vlog, please make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.